knockout rugby is always something to be to be enjoyed and uh, it's good to be a part of. I think John, we've been very accurate with what we wanted to do in, in each game, and um, I think the scorelines uh, show for themselves. You know how, how well we played. That being said, you know we're we're coming into a weekend where we're against a very very strong Ulster team. You know they had a good campaign also, so it's um, sure to be a cracker. Just looking at the games you've had so far, a couple were dry, a couple were wet, and I suppose that prepares you for any eventuality that could happen come Sunday. Yeah, look, it just prepares you, like you said, for for any different situations that could be thrown up. I mean, we were playing in uh, in terrible conditions down, down in Bandon and you know freezing cold, wet, but uh, we managed the game right. I think that's the most important thing uh, with regards to conditions. I mean, once, once you manage the game correctly, play in the right parts of the field and, and execute uh, right, you know, you're, you're surely in first out. Just looking at the overall campaign so far, you've used a total of 37 players and yeah. 15 of those have been debutants as well. Yeah. You know, looking at the whole organisation between yourself and Razi and, and everything mm-hmm. and the progression of players, that must be very reassuring to use so many players, so many debutants and get those wins. Yeah, it's just developing a bit of experience and developing a bit of a, a succession plan for who, who, could, who can stand up to this level and who's a possibility to move into the Pro 12 squad. So I feel we've a lot of academy guys have played Pro 12 rugby, a wider base now, have a, have a good base of... Uh, BNI Cup rugby and they've exposed them to the level of competition. Some of them have done very well and they're probably thick beside their names and yeah, well, this guy's the possibility to step up probably sooner than we thought. So um, that gives us a lot of surety about where, where the next generation is coming from as well. You, li- you live and learn a bit and sometimes you learn hard lessons in these matches and other times you, you know results go your way and you, and you learn through winning but you're exposing yourself to a big level of competition and it, it's, a, it's a bit of a local derby against Ulster so there's a, that extra kind of spice to the competition so it'll be physical. They'll know a bit about us, we'll know a bit about them, we'll understand each other, I think. So I think I think that's the benefit of these combinations. And guys grow through it, and, and then I find they get very comfortable in stepping up to a Pro 12 squad or, or a high Cup squad or European Cup squad if needed. One thing you can always expect from Ulster, especially from down through the years, um, is that they always have a strong team. Regardless of, uh, of what players they have available through injuries or, or other games, they're always a very, very strong team. And um, I'm sure they're going to have a, have a good side out. And, going to be a tough game. I think especially between the Irish provinces there's a lot of young players, a lot of players looking for games, they want to play. I think sometimes you play at the championship clubs it's a bit of a slog fest. I presume also we come down and look to play and we certainly want to play and I'm one of the best pitches in the country on Sunday and give it a right crack. It's one of the best uh, pitches in the country and to be fair to Ian Dunn down below he does a great job managing the pitches and stuff so it's um, definitely, definitely one of my favourite pitches to play on and look forward to getting back there.